Hello and welcome to LFC Focus. Time for another transfer update and the biggest news of the day today is regarding Virgil van Dijk. And sadly, it's some pretty bad news for Liverpool fans because apparently Southampton have reassured their new manager, who is called Maurizio Pellegrino, that they will be not be selling any of their top stars this summer. And that does include Virgil van Dijk. And I mean, this deal was fairly looking like it was off the cards anyway. It certainly looked like Liverpool were leaving it to lie and putting it on the back burner for now after the whole situation we had last month where they had to issue their public apology and there was a whole thing about Liverpool tapping up Van Dijk. It was recently announced that we'd been cleared of any wrongdoing in that situation, so at least we weren't going to get any fine or transfer ban. But for now, at least, it does look like Virgil van Dijk is not going to be for sale. And I think this is a general kind of sign of the direction that Southampton are trying to take themselves into after they've been quite a selling club for the last few years. Liverpool fans will certainly know that with the amount of talent that we've bought from them over the past few summers. They've they've brought through a lot of good players through their ranks and have tended to sell them once they've actually had a breakthrough Premier League season. So it looks like they're trying to change that. They're trying to adapt their style in terms of uh, developing players and turning them into pretty good, impressive Premier League players and trying to turn themselves into a club that doesn't sell that talent and keeps it on and can build themselves up to being a bigger and better club in the Premier League. So for now, it does look like the Van Dyke deal is off. Uh, it might maybe come back into the frame later on in the summer transfer window. Obviously, it's a long window. It goes all the way to the end of August. So the situation with Van Dyke and the Southampton manager could change. They could not get on. They could get on really well and it could turn out that Van Dyke actually does want to stay at Southampton. So who knows how things are going to pan out over the rest of the window. But for now, I think Liverpool should probably be turning their attentions to some other transfer targets, casting their net further afield, and maybe just looking to save a little bit of money because Van Dijk was going to be a very expensive transfer if Liverpool did push through to complete the deal. It was probably going to be about £70 million. So if they look further afield in Europe or somewhere else, there have been a lot of names touted like uh, Koulibaly from Napoli being one of them. De Vrij was the name that was brought up when it was first announced that we dropped our interest in Van Dijk. So it looks like for now Liverpool are going to be looking for centre-backs further abroad because if you ask me, other than Van Dijk, there aren't really any top centre-backs that are worth signing that are available in the Premier League at the moment. So that's how I think things are going to pan out for now at least. In other news, an update on the situation with Naby Keita. In a recent interview with the German newspaper Welt, he said, and I'll get the quote here because I've just forgotten it, he said, I love Leipzig, I will never forget this city. Now, I don't want to read too much into that, but it does sound like the quote, of a man who is looking to leave his club. And when you couple this with the fact that Naby Keita does apparently uh, want to leave RB Leipzig, he is very interested in a move to Liverpool to work under Jurgen Klopp, it's starting to suggest like Liverpool may be getting closer and closer to being able to push through this transfer. But for now, it still feels like it's very much in limbo. RB Leipzig still hold pretty much all the cards. They don't need to sell, like I said in the last video. But it does look a little bit more like we might be able to push this deal over the line, whether that's this summer or perhaps even next summer when his £48 million release clause becomes active. But it is a little bit little bit of a boost. And obviously the Van Dyke news is also kind of a boost for the situation with Naby Keita as well, because if Liverpool wanted Keita and Van Dyke and they were both going to cost £70 million, it did look like both of those deals might be ever so slightly in doubt. But if we're dropping Van Dyke and we're going to look for some centre-back targets that are a little bit less expensive, Expensive, then if Naby Keita is our only massively expensive signing in this transfer window for a fee of £70 million, then it's slightly more likely that FSG may give Klopp the funds to help push this deal over the line. Elsewhere, Joe Gomez was today linked with a move to Brighton on loan. Um, for now, it looks like that, that idea has been quashed a little bit because we know that Jurgen Klopp wants to have a look at Joe Gomez during pre-season and have a proper assessment of him because given the injury problems he suffered at the start of the season, he never really got the chance to got, get going. He didn't really have enough games to get back to full fitness and get back to full match sharpness. So during pre-season, I think Klopp wants to have a proper look at the player and assess whether he's going to be able to have a big role to play in Liverpool's first team, whether that's in Premier League matches or maybe just League Cup and FA Cup matches going into this season. So, And I think it also depends on the transfer window as well, whether we do bring in another top centre-back, because if we do, then the pecking order will probably go new centre-back, Joel Matip, Dejan Lovren, 
Ranyar Clavin, and when you think of that, Joe Gomez isn't really going to get much of a look in. So for now, at least that deal has been again put on the back burner. But I think it's quite likely that we could see Joe Gomez go out on loan to Brighton if Liverpool sign a new centre back, and of course, depending on how he performs during pre-season but if he does go to Bob Brighton I wouldn't be too disappointed I think it'd be a fairly good move for him because I think a move to a Champions League club would be a bit of a step down for him I certainly think that he is good enough to be playing first team football at a Premier League club so I personally wouldn't mind seeing him go to Brighton provided he does get first team football there and just it would probably help him get back to the match sharpness that he was showing when he first signed for Liverpool two years ago now and prove that he can be a good player because we know that he's got potential so it would be very good Good to see him fulfil it and be able to fulfil it at Liverpool. Bit of news on left back targets as well. Ryan Sessegnon has today signed a new deal with Fulham, which pretty much puts any idea of him moving away from the club to bed for now. At least it was looking earlier on in the window like Liverpool were interested in signing him. He's 17 years old, so he was probably going to be more of a one for the future signing rather than someone who's going to be a first team regular next season. It then started to look like Liverpool had dropped out the race and Tottenham were favourites to sign him. That deal almost looked like it was actually going to get over the line. But now that he's signed a new deal, he's probably going to stay uh, at Fulham for the rest of next season at least. If you ask me, I think this could benefit Liverpool because if he gets a bit more first team experience at a Champions League club, he'll be 18 years old next year. Who knows how much he will have developed in that time and it gives us another chance to get back in the race for signing him and perhaps bring him in as less of a one for the future and actually a player who could play an important role in the first team for Liverpool if we sign him next summer. And finally, some news on Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, who was linked to Liverpool a bit earlier on. That whole thing sort of fell away a little bit when it emerged that Jurgen Klopp apparently didn't get on with him. He didn't like working with him at Dortmund. Apparently, he's going to China to a club called Tianjin Quanjian. Uh, anyone who is Chinese or understands the Chinese Super League, let me know if I got that pronunciation horribly wrong in the comments. But he is making a move to the Chinese League for £71 million. If you ask me, I think it's a bit of a waste of talent, really. I think at the age of 27, after such a good season at Borussia Dortmund, he should be staying in Liverpool, in Europe. I mean, he should be going to a top club. You know, apparently, Real Madrid were interested in him last summer. So it is a bit disappointing to see him move away. But I can understand now why Jurgen Klopp dropped the interest in him. Because if he's moving from Dortmund to a club in the Chinese Super League for £71 million... It looks like that deal is mainly motivated by money and any player who's mainly motivated by money and not success on the football pitch is not the kind of player that I think Liverpool should have and I don't think the kind of player that Jurgen Klopp is after. So I can see now why we dropped that deal even though he is a top quality player but for now at least Aubameyang's going and it doesn't really look like Liverpool are going to sign a centre forward this summer transfer window. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comments as well whether you think that Jurgen Klopp is making a mistake by not signing anyone in the transfer window. If you want to ask me any questions about the transfer window, any queries about what I think about how Liverpool are conducting their business, then do ask me questions in the comments or on Twitter as well. At is LFC Focus TV. So you can let me know your questions on there as well. Uh, and that's all for today's video. Apart from that, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, why not give it a like? If you're new around here, why not subscribe and check out some of the other videos that have been out on the channel in the last few days. And I will see you in a bit with more transfer news. Bye for now.